Hi, this is Maria. Welcome to MariasCraftRoom.com. Today we're going to be making this weekly layout using stickers, and I'm working in Noteshelf today. We're also going to be using the new scribble function that turns your handwriting into text. That's a new iOS function, but it works very well with Noteshelf. Please remember to like my videos if you like them, and subscribe to my channel. If you click the notification bell, you'll be notified when I post a new video. Alright, so let's get started. This is the 2020 Digibujo by Jenny Golan Designs, but you can use any planner you happen to be using. Um, I will link everything I use in the video description below. There's also a blog link down there. Please check that out. You'll have lots more detail in the blog. And let's go ahead and clear my screen. And we'll get started. I am in week 41, October 4th through 10th. And I'm going to grab my stickers. I happen to keep mine in photo roll, but you can keep yours wherever you want. And I'm just going to drag and drop what I'm after. Edit. I like to work in full sheets, but you can... Um, Jenny has started offering pre-cropped stickers if you choose, if you prefer to use that. Um, I like the big sheets anyway, so it doesn't bother me. I've had these for a long time. I've been using Jenny's products for years. Let's grab some more stickers. Let's see, actually, I want this one. Edit. Apply and done. And just size that to fit. Edit, apply and done. Edit, apply. Now, apply is interesting because you see I caught an extra sticker. I can stay in my crop tool and work this way. Or, I don't want to erase the shadow here. Or I can use my eraser tool instead and just do this. Okay, done. Lots of cool features in Noteshelf. One more from here. Edit. Apply. And done. And you can rotate here using the lasso function. Resize lets you resize as well as rotate. Okay, I need a weekly that's fairly new, so I know it's all the way at the bottom. I keep all of mine in one folder. I've started using a weekly folder, but I'm just not used to it. Let's see, this is the one I want the Sunday start. And we'll just size it to fit my space here. And we're going to send it to the back so it's behind the leaves. There we go. Okay. So, <clears throat> Let's see, I forgot one more from that autumn set. Yep, this one. Edit. And we'll grab this little leaf. Apply and done. Size it to fit. Now I want to copy that. So I'm going to lock this image, lasso, copy this one, 
and paste. Long press, paste. Long press, paste. All right, so that is it for stickers. Now let's try the text tool and do the tap to write. Now if I tap with my pen tool, it brings up this. If it doesn't, check your settings and make sure that your Apple Pencil, if you've turned it off, it's not going to work. So back to note shelf. If I, now I'm in the text tool, if I double tap with my finger, you get the usual keyboard. If I double tap with my pen, I get the little tools. And auto minimize, it puts it in the corner. So I'm going to start writing, actually I'm not going to start writing, I'm going to go to my paintbrush, check that I'm in the font I want to be in, I want pumpkin spice, and I want a bigger font. It shows you here how big it's going to be. Orange, default, and that's going to be what it writes in. Double tap and start writing. Notice I'm outside of the box. It just did it for me. Okay, I'm going to go over here. October, and I use my finger to move it, and I want the lasso so I can resize and r rotate this. I just moved it because I, I this one is locked, and this little sticker is not locked, and they, the text and the sticker are overlapping, so I moved it down here where I knew I could work on it over this locked sticker. Alright, let's go back to text tool and keep writing. I want to make my text a little smaller. Default. And we'll keep making this shopping list. Double tap. And just write. <laughs> Let's try that again. Man, it does not like my handwriting. Let's see how it's underlined. It's predicting that it got me wrong. Soda. This is supposed to be fruit. Brett. Nope. There we go. <laughs> it doesn't like my handwriting. Let's double tap over here and add some numbers. We're going to start with four. Double tap, five, double tap, six. I'm tapping off to go to the next spot. I'm going to make sure all my images are locked so that when I use my lasso, I'm not going to move those. Just the numbers. And there we have it. Easy weekly spread. The scribble feature does take some getting used to. If it really bothers you, go back to your settings and turn it off. And just simply use the keyboard like we've been doing. So let's try that shopping list without the scribble. Let's see. This image is locked already, so I can lasso and cut without affecting the image. I just turned the scribble off, so I'm going to 
use the text tool, brings up my keyboard, let's check my, let's make this a little smaller, and default, and we're just going to type out my shopping list. Now this, it gives me return, gives me some other things that the scribble just doesn't work well with. Alright, there we go, and I can use my lasso to move it around since the image is locked. And that's it for this week. Please remember to like if you like my videos and subscribe to my channel. If you click that notification bell, you'll be notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.